Hello and welcome to Perfect Opacity. Today we're going to learn how to create a circular pixel effect in Photoshop. Make sure you load your image. Once you load your image, you're going to come to select and then subject. Once your image is selected, you're going to come over to a layer mask and you're going to mask, mask the background. So what to do, I'm going to create a blank working space. So I'll come to file and then uh, new and then I'm going to create a 1920 by 1080 so there's my layout so what I'll do I'll just come back to my image that we had masked the background and I'm going to drag it over to my new working area so then I hit ctrl T and I want to adjust so you adjust your image and I want to place it right at the, at the center that's good enough so i hit enter and then what i'll do i'll come to the marquee tool and then select the single column marquee tool and i'm going to make my selection over here then hit ctrl j to create a copy of the selection and then hit ctrl t and then what I'll do is that I'm going to hold shift and uh, expand the selection like that and then I drag my image on top of this selection and then what I do come back to the uh, expanded pixels hit control T we shift held I'm going to resize uh, almost there at the center somewhere there and then what I'll do is that I'll come to filter the distort and then polar coordinates and I'll uh, use rectangular to polar and I hit OK perfect then I'll hit ctrl T and I want to uh, resize my I, I, I want to have more or less a, a circle I think that's 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 not bad. So I hit control again. Then I want to resize this. Uh, somewhere there, and then I hit OK. That's not bad. Then I'm going to create a a layer mask then I'm going to come over to the brush tool now I want to readjust my pixels I think I should use a hard brown around brush so you do to do that you I draw over this I want to hide this uh, on the front on this half left side uh, perfect and then still on this layer I'm going to add I'm going to add a new layer and then right click on it create clipping mask and then I'm going to change the blending mode to to overlay. I'll come take my brush tool uh, with the white color selected. I'm going to draw. Sorry. For the brush, I'm going to select the soft round pressure. And then I'm going to draw over here. 
something like that oh, perfect then I'll come over to the background I click on it I add a new layer and then uh, take the brush tool and then I make sure I have black color and then for the brush I'm going to change to an ellipse and then I'm going to draw over here I want to create sort of a shadow and uh, that's good enough uh, next on this background I'm going to uh, add a gradient by clicking there so you come over to gradient you're going to select the basics then I'm going to select this option foreground to background and then I want to click on the first uh, color option and then I hit color over here then I'm going to select this color over here that's good enough for me I say ok I come to the second one I click come to color then I want to select this sort of brownish perfect and then the style I want to change to linear so there you are and then finally what you do is that you're going to come and uh, you hit sh uh, shift control alt e to combine to automate all the layers and then what you do is that you're going to come to filter and then camera raw filter and then here what we're going to do is we're going to adjust a few settings until we have a nice uh, look and feel and just the temperature exposure not too much I'm gonna come down and uh, play around with saturation saturation I think I like uh, minus 5 vibrance and that's no bad clarity I'm satisfied so there we have our image thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe you hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified next time we upload a video thank you